Well, welcome everybody, and thanks for joining this session. Uh, I'm Sung Su Chan, leading the R&D for the Home IoT Group for Samsung and SmartThings. And our Home IoT Group mainly focuses around building the IoT solutions for developers and the, the property management companies and also the home builders to facilitate their operations as well as, as, well as enabling the residents to experience the connected living experience through our Samsung devices. So here on stage, I have Joan Suskin, who is our product manager at SmartThings, and she leads all the product development for our group. And she'll be talking mostly about the business cases during our session. And here we have Andrew Sayer as well, who is the director of engineering at SmartThings as well. And he'll be covering mostly the technical aspects to this session. And I did want to mention about Eric, Eric Rodwald, who couldn't unfortunately make it to this session, but yeah, put a lot into this session. So I thought it might be worth mentioning him. So today we would like to talk about the work our group is doing to help smart things, enhance the enterprise. And to start, we'll walk through a few examples of companies they have successfully built uh, their businesses powered by the SmartThings open architecture. And through working with these companies, we've seen certain needs that were repeated and repeated over and over again. And here we would like to address or talk about how we are planning on solving those repeated needs that, that we've seen. Uh, through working with these partners, and how we plan to nat natively support uh, those features within our platform such that our partners can nat well, such that they could focus more around their core businesses and leave the rest to our platforms. So let me introduce you to Joan Suskin, who will be covering as to why um, we are evolving to adapt or support the enterprise businesses within smart things. Thanks, Sung Su. As Sung Su mentioned, before we get into talking about how we're going to make these changes, I want to spend some time talking about why. Smart things now infamous origin story centers around solving a problem for a particular family. One of the founders, uh, experienced a catastrophic leak in a second home owned by their family, and they dreamed of a product that would alert them to the damages before they caused such extreme issues. So SmartThings began as a product to solve problems for individual consumers. But SmartThings has become so much more than that. We offer a platform of open APIs to allow innovators to automate their homes and build custom solutions for their own um, home experiences. Because of that approach, we saw thousands of individuals building things to solve their own individual problems. But we've also seen a large number of companies who have successfully built entire businesses by creating an enterprise stack on top of SmartThings open architecture, with little or no involvement from SmartThings at all. Not only is this such a strong validation of our open API approach, but it's also an opportunity for us to learn. Over the past year, our team has worked in close relationship with some of these companies and used their feedback to build out SmartThings Enterprise stack in order to accelerate their development and help them meet their business objectives. Each of them has applied the SmartThings platform to their individual industry to solve real problems for real customers. Take Logical Buildings, for example. They've built an energy management platform using SmartThings devices and APIs. Their product saves their customers money and is good for the environment. It's a real win-win. SmartThings has enabled them to get to market faster and with less expense by providing key sensors and the means to monitor those sensors. Today, their SmartKit AI product, which uses SmartThings APIs, serves over 85 million square feet. Their engineers rely heavily on our documentation and developer tools to interface with SmartThings. So the more we focus on these, the better and faster they can develop their own products. Or we can look at Australia-based Billy. 
a company that built a product to make life easier for seniors, their caretakers, and their families. Billy uses SmartThings sensors to learn an individual's pattern and spot issues before problems arise by looking for changes. With the broad array of sensors available on SmartThings platform, Billy is able to do this without using cameras, recording devices, monitoring equipment, wearables, anything that the user has to interact with. This helps to preserve that feeling of independence and also privacy for their seniors using their product as it monitors their behavior in the background. Seniors are able to go about their day as normal without needing to log or interact with devices. And for caretakers, this means that they can receive real-time data about the environment and health of their loved one, offering peace of mind that they're safe in their own home. Rabu solves a problem for operators managing multiple rental homes on a platform like Airbnb. Using SmartThings ecosystem and APIs, Rabu allows these business owners to monitor and manage their assets remotely, co completing basic actions like changing the locks when a new guest arrives, um, allowing uh, cleaners to come and enter, or changing the settings on the thermostat without making time-intensive visits to each individual site. Let's hear more from Rabu's CEO. Rabu is an investment platform that utilizes the short-term rental marketplaces like Airbnb to give our clients a higher yield on their investment portfolio. We initially started Rabu as Airbnb hosts ourselves and found the practice to be rather lucrative, but also highly manual and time-consuming, especially as we grew our portfolio. We knew that we needed to solve this problem if we wanted to scale, and we quickly realized that the best way to do so was to use IoT in order to automate our operation but to also control our access, energy, and safety across our portfolio. After piling dozens of IoT platforms, it quickly became apparent to us that SmartThings was the appropriate solution for us. Not only was it easy to work with and had the hardware catalog like no one else, but it also allowed us to solve all our use cases, which was amazing. Rabu is now utilizing SmartThings as an integral part of our investment platform to allow our clients to operate their short-term rentals as a passive investment strategy which was unimaginable just a few short months ago. Our platform connects our clients' Airbnb reservations to their homes automatically. This allows us then to send the guests automated messages about their check-in, set duration-based access codes on the smart locks that will only work for them, know when guests have checked out, reduce energy consumption when the unit is vacant, and even schedule cleaners and maintenance staff to get the property guests ready. IoT and the SmartThings ecosystem have made the impossible possible, and we're excited to utilize it to help our clients turn their short-term rental, rentals into a high-yield investment strategy. Thank you. As Amir mentions, the expansive device ecosystem and APIs that SmartThings offers have allowed Rabu to combine the reach of a hosting platform like Airbnb with the convenience of smart home management to make it possible to manage multiple rent rental properties remotely for their business owners and users. Building developers all over the world have taken notice of the appeal of smart home technology too. And some have leveraged the SmartThings ecosystem to offer a complete smart home experience to buyers off the bat. Ramian, for example, is one of the biggest builders of high-rise condo buildings in Korea. Residents of one of their newest buildings enjoy a deep integration with SmartThings and their building management system, all available through a wall pad and the SmartThings mobile app. This integration is facilitated through a cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration between the two systems, along with custom SDKs to create interfaces and new device types like elevators that were previously unavailable in the consumer space. This combination provides convenient, time-saving features to homeowners, as well as increased property values. This promotional video walks through some of the key features for residents.
As you can see, the builders of this property were able to take advantage of the expansibility of the SmartThings e device ecosystem and its various developer tools to create a custom experience that's traditionally meant for more of the single family home and adapt that to a high rise condo like this one, offering a really next generation experience. Finally, I'll introduce you to IQ, a company that has developed a solution for apartment rentals here in the US. Using SmartThings devices and APIs, their product helps apartment managers save time and money while reducing risk and increasing property values. They also provide a customizable smart home experience for their residents. Jonathan Rivera, their VP of Business Development, can tell you more. IQ is a smart home management system for multifamily owners. Uh, we provide management controls for smart home technology that include battery management for all smart battery powered devices deployed across the community. Uh, we provide vacant unit control, which results in, in operational efficiencies. Residents get the unique experience of when they move in, they have a, a Samsung ready apartment with the Samsung SmartThings app. Uh, they're, they're able to bring devices uh, in what we call bring your own device. We, uh, we provide the basic essentials for a smart home unit, uh, such as Lock, locking and unlocking a door via the app or entering with their secure door code. Uh, residents can, from at a minimum, turn on and off a, a light, a couple light switches in their unit and control their, their temperature via the smart thermostat that's deployed in their, in their unit. Um, the reason why we, we selected to partner up with Samsung SmartThings as opposed to building our own hub is the, the, the brand recognition we wanted the, the reliability. Uh, we wanted our clients to know that and when they deploy our technology along with Samsung, the hub will be around for, for, uh, for many years to come. And uh, IQ can only add management efficiencies while Samsung handles the resident experience. In a lot of ways, this collaboration exemplifies what we're trying to accomplish with these partnerships. As Jonathan mentioned, his company can rely on the SmartThings platform to provide the IoT experience while, while they can focus on their value-added, uh, industry-specific pieces of their core business. Working closely with these companies, we've learned a lot, both from watching what they've accomplished and by listening to what's been difficult. We've seen certain needs repeated across industries by companies using SmartThings to build their businesses. Now we've turned our focus inwards, looking at our platform to see how we can enable companies to hit the market faster. We want to natively support features to enable em enterprise implementations of smart things for the next wave of companies building on our platform. To tell you more about the work we're doing in this area, Andy Sayre. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. Thank you, Joan. So Joan shared with you why we're evolving smart things. I'm going to talk us through how we're going to do that. Our partners have done amazing things on a platform that didn't take these enterprise use cases into consideration. We aim to evolve the platform to make it easier to develop for the enterprise. And the relationships that we have with our partners are reciprocal. As they discover new needs, we learn from them and build a more capable and expansive platform. I'm excited to share with you today three focus areas for us, enhancing our access model, developer tools, and, and uh, sorry, and enabling advanced industry-specific use cases. So let's start with how we're evolving the access model. What we have today works great in high-trust scenarios, like everybody in your home having the same level of access. But we know that in the enterprise, we need to take these concepts further. So we're working on a dynamic, policy-based approach that will allow us to represent the intricate relationships as seen in the real world in our platform. We will be able to customize these, these policies and this access model to suit your unique use cases, and the rest of the SmartThings platform will respect those policies regardless of how it's accessed. 
So let's take an example of, of what we can do with this. In the multifamily industry, user privacy and security is paramount. Users want to be assured that their data is secure from prying eyes, but they also want to be able to grant a property manager access to know that if the washer starts leaking when they aren't home, that, that issue can be resolved quickly before it becomes a major problem. In our new access model, we'll be able to solve use cases like that. So let's talk a little more about how this works. We are able to represent and mirror the physical world. So resources are things and the relationships between things. Policies define a coarse or fine-grained allow or deny action. And groups are a one-to-many relationship between people to policies. This representation of the physical world can allow us to be as granular as we need to be. So in the visualization, we can grant access to the entire property or only a specific floor within that property. With these physical groupings, we can define these borders however we see fit and can mirror your unique needs. But what about logical groupings? So for example, I want to grant a guest access to my, come into my apartment, but I don't want to give them access to every device that I have. In our new access model, we'll be able to describe a permission down to the specific attributes and capabilities within SmartThings to either allow someone to only view the status of a locked device or, for example, only unlock it. We have a lot of power and potential of what we can do here. Moving on to the second area of focus for us around quality developer tools. What we have today has enabled our partners to build fantastic products, but we aim to do higher for enterprise solutions. Our goal is to accelerate your development by offering a new client SDK that will allow, us to, allow you to build rich experiences on mobile and web. This client SDK is built upon our REST APIs and aims to make the developer's life much easier by abstracting and isolating the complexities of interacting with the SmartThings platform. Our sample iOS and Android applications then are built on top of this SDK and can be used to bootstrap your own engineering to allow you to build your own custom applications. We want you to spend time focusing on building business value, not working on just the basic user experience. <laughs> 